Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today we'll be looking at smokescreens, and there has been a little bit of a proliferation of smokescreens, different kinds, uh, different mechanics, so uh, it's worth having a quick look around, checking what's there and what it does. In the olden days, and I probably not want to be looking at the Tiger 59 because that's a really special one, but uh, let's look at an American destroyer. Let's look at the gearing. In the olden days, uh, these were the only ships that had smokes because that's what we started with. So these were the original smoke screen or smoke generator things. What they did is, well, it laid a smoke and if you're in the smoke, then you can't be detected unless somebody has sonar or radar and is in range. Now, radar didn't exist back then, only sonar did. So you were reasonably safe inside your smokescreen. The smokescreen have, the smokescreens have sort of two main mechanics. They have an, uh, a set timer and an active timer. So in the case of the Gearing's Smoke Generator 2 here, the set timer is at 11 seconds and the active timer is at 28 seconds. Now, if we compare this with all the other smoke screens, uh, let's have a quick look at an overview of what's existing by today. We have the smoke generator one, which has a set duration of nine seconds and an active duration of 24 seconds and a cooldown of 105 seconds. We've got the smoke generator two, which has two, two, two extra seconds on the set duration and lasts for 28 seconds. We've got the smoke generator three, which ramps up a 13 second set duration and a 32 second total duration. So two, two extra, so every level of regular smoke generator gives you two extra seconds on set and four extra seconds on duration. And the two and three have a slightly faster cooldown. Then we have the fuel smokes. Now fuel smokes, have a set you start with a set duration of nine seconds but only have an active duration of three seconds so what does that mean well uh, the, there's a little hint if we are starting to look at something that actually has a fuel smoke and i believe they they were introduced with the british destroyer line i might be wrong there but let's have a quick look at the daring the daring has a fuel smoke one uh, there's a little there's a little footnote here in the description and it says Fuel smoke will fully cover you even when moving at maximum speed, but it dissipates faster than a normal smoke screen. And that's what this means, right? The duration, the active duration is the lifetime of a smoke puff. So you emit a smoke puff and uh, this is how long it, uh, this is the little timer that counts down for how long it, how long it lasts and until it goes away. The set duration is, I believe the time window within which you are emitting puffs. Now, this is where it gets a little sketchy, but we'll get to that in a minute. So the difference between a regular smoke generator and a fuel smoke is that the regular smoke generator, you can't take it with you, as in you set it and then it stays there. The fuel smoke, if you read it, is you can still use it even if you're running at maximum speed. Now, the idea is the mechanic itself is the same, right? You emit puffs and the puffs have a lifetime. The The difference being with the fuel smoke that uh, you, you get the puffs even if you are running at full speed. At least that's what it reads. What else do we have? We have the short burst duration uh, smoke screen, or so short burst smoke screen, which has a set duration of five seconds, but has an active direct, uh, duration of uh, 16 seconds. So that's effectively a smoke, smoke generator zero. And we've got the exhaust fuel smoke, which has a, six, a set duration of six seconds and an active duration only of two seconds, but has a very fast reload. And I believe this is the one we have on the Italians, but let's double check, because honestly, it's really difficult to keep track of these things. Uh, yeah, this is the exhaust fuel smoke. This is what you see on the Italian destroyers, whereas the Italian cruisers, uh, we're looking at the Venezia, actually are getting the fuel smoke, so not the exhaust fuel smoke. So the slightly longer duration smoke screen. And the battleships on the Italian line are getting that as well. You get smoke screens on all ship types except for carriers. 
So uh, cruisers, destroyers, and battleships can have smoke screens. Now, the next thing, before we get into how this works and what it is, uh, let's have a quick look at how smoke screens function in practice. So here we have HMS Tiger. The Tiger is a relatively obscure ship, but uh, she is a ship in the game, and I'm not sure if she's the only one, but I think she may be, that has a smoke generator 3. The smoke generator 3 has a set duration of 13 seconds and an active duration of 32 seconds. So if we are now uh, starting to launch the smoke screen in HMS Tiger, we will see that smoke puffs start appearing uh, behind the ship. And you can, you can sort of see it in, uh, in, in the green outlines around. And now we've reached 10 seconds, and that was the last smoke puff that has been emitted. And now at this point, we have sailed outside of our smoke screen. The smoke screen obviously is still there. And if you observe the little rings that we've left behind us, these, uh, these are the smoke puffs that we've emitted. And they will start dissipating, starting with the first one that we've emitted, relatively soon, once this, their respective smoke timer is expiring. So these stay around for a while because these are actual smoke screens. So you can see them there, like the from the rear, they're dissipating, and now it's the last one, and it goes away. There we go. So now the smoke screen is gone. The, the curious thing here is that uh, I was perfectly capable of sailing at full speed and the, the smoke screen uh, and being covered by the smoke screen. Obviously, once the smoke the smoke puff, the last puff has been puffed, I am no longer able to run at full speed to make use of my smoke screen. And that's really the, the difference here. So the idea here is, this is a lasting smoke screen. You have to slow down to stay in it. If you keep going at full speed, you you leave your smoke screen behind you, and uh, you will waste basically the timer on the smoke screen. Now, the idea with regular smoke screens is that you use them, you set them, and you you stay within them. I wouldn't recommend sitting still in them, but you can stay within the smoke screen, and the 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 first puff, the each puff has its own expiry timer. So if you're staying within the final puff, then uh, that's when you have the maximum use out of your smoke screen. So how about those vaunted fuel smokes that you can take with you? So let's take a look at the Napoli. The Napoli has a fuel smoke 3 and once we're at full speed we're activating it. And you see the same thing happening. The puffs are appearing behind me but the puffs are dissipating extremely quickly. At the same time, I'm still getting puffs in front of me, such that even at full speed, I am staying within my smoke screen. And as you can see there, it goes away and now it has completely dissipated. So if we're looking back at the statistics for, the NAP, uh, for this, for the fuel smoke three, we have a set duration of 15 seconds, but an active duration of uh, five seconds, which means that the smoke puffs themselves don't last very long but uh, we get to set them for a while and uh, we get to, due to, this, due to the fact that we get more puffs, we get to sort of take them with us. You just can't sit still in it. So if you stop the ship and you activate the, fuel, <laughs> the smoke screen, it doesn't really help you very much because the smoke puffs themselves don't last for very long. That, these are the two main types. Uh, we still have the short burst smoke screen, which has a very short set duration. So it's a very small localized smoke screen and has a relatively short active duration. And I think this was on the Druid. So this is a regular stationary smoke screen that you can kind of use, but uh, you have a lot of it and you have a, um, you, you get more, more charges to be used. And you've got the exhaust fuel smokes, which have an extremely short duration. Uh, and both in set duration and active duration. So these are really, really just good for quick getaways. So what do, what do we use smoke? What do we use these smoke screens for? So the regular smoke generators, you can use them to create a smoke screen and to sit in it. The and then you you I don't know AG spam something or you just fire at things. You can also use them to uh, cover your teammates. So if you see that someone is being focused down, you can put a smoke screen around them and just make sure that the ship is inside or behind, either inside the smoke screen or the smoke screen is between the ship and any target that can spot it. And then it gets undetected. The fuel smokes are personal use. 
So these things are good, for example, if you're rushing a battleship in a destroyer and you want to, at the final run-up, either want to cover yourself such that the battleship doesn't know where you are, can't shoot at you, and you can drop your torpedoes and disengage. The short burst smoke is a bit of a weird one because it is... I think it's relative. I, I'm not sure if I've seen it anywhere except for Druid, but uh, it's sort of um, a smoke generator zero, sort of. It's very short duration, but you can kind of use it. Uh, you can use it frequently. And the exhaust fuel smoke is kind of like the fuel smoke zero, again, with the sh very short duration. So you can only use it uh, at, you, you use it at full speed to do things like uh, cover your turn, but you have to be aware that uh, it only lasts a couple of seconds and uh, you will be visible after that very quickly again. So in return, uh, again, on the Italian destroyers, you get very, you get very, um, uh, you get very, you, you get a very high number of charges of them and the, it has the shortest cooldown of all the smokes. So ground rules. Uh, short bursts or regular short smoke generators, you need to stop in those to make use of them. Fuel smoke or exhaust fuel smoke, you need to keep running to make use of them. Uh, short burst and smoke generators, you can use for yourself or your teammates. Fuel smokes, kind of not so much. Uh, regular smoke generators are kind of mobile invisibility things where you can park yourself out in the open, smoke up and then start shooting at stuff with a much reduced chance of being hit. Uh, fuel smokes are there for covering your turns, for doing run-ups on battleships or similar things. Uh, for They get out of jail cards. If you're in trouble, you pop one of those, uh, cover yourself for a while, make your turn, uh, do your uh, disengage, get the team to start shoot, get the enemy team to start shooting something else. That's what these are for. So hopefully that has given you a little bit of an overview of how smoke screens work in the game and a little less confusion about all the various types of smoke screen and how to use them. And that's it for me today. Thanks everybody and I will see you next time. Bye bye.